Here we are south of Leland, Michigan, looking at some of the glacial deposits of the area. Behind me, you'll see a drumlin. A drumlin is an asymmetric hill of glacial debris. Asymmetric because it has a steep sloping side here and a more gently sloping side over there. And to understand how drumlins form, we have to understand a little bit about ice ages. So an ice age is an overall colder time period on Earth. And then within that ice age, there are warmer times called interglacials. So what happens with these massive ice sheets, these giant glaciers that exist at the time, they grow. And then when this warmer interglacial occurs, they retreat and then it gets colder again and they advance and they retreat and then interglacial. And this happens over and over again. So what happens then during the interglacials as the ice is retreating, all of the debris that got picked up by the ice, the big rocks and boulders and the little sand and all the kind of sediment gets dropped off. And then when the interglacial ends and it gets extra cold again and the ice advances again, it bulldozes and runs over this debris that it dropped off, which we call till, and it sculpts that till into these drumlins. And uh, you can tell what direction the ice was advancing over that till, that debris, because the steep side is where the ice was coming from, and the gently sloping side is the direction the ice is going towards. Now these drumlins form in what are called fields. And many of the hills that you see around here are these drumlins created as an ice sheet advanced over glacial debris. Through the magic of movies, we are now north of Leland, Michigan. And I said that these drumlins like to form in groups or what we call drumlin fields. And we are in the middle of one of those drumlin fields right now. I'm standing on one, and if you look off into the distance back there, you'll see that nice asymmetric hill. That's one of the hundreds of drumlins that you can see in this area. And all of these drumlins tell a geologist that once upon a time, this was an active glacial area.